Make sure to put the corresponding subtitles. Since we have finished with the most defend map guides, we will be doing now attack map guides, the standard ranked attack strats, nothing advanced if possible. We will be doing a villa attack guide recommended by YouTube members and patrons. It's advised to check my villa defend guide to follow the defaults easier. Villa as a map is a defender side on map, because of basement. Basement allows the defenders to rotate and flank attackers at pretty much any point, free staircases pointing towards every single spot of the map an attacker simply cannot hold basement and do the pull at the same time. That is why, even in a 5 pre-made group, it is very hard to attack the map. The way how to attack this map is to take it from the sections, do your job there, such as vertical pressure, or just to allow you to push through some places, example if you want to push astronomy stairs, you will want to make sure that dining and kitchen and the hold that area is clear from the fenders. And then you will leave that area. Possibly with a drone living there or just totally living with a gridlock or nomad. Speaking of that, let's go to actual sites, attacking Aviatar and games. You will need to know these following callouts. Nighty, Library, and Studio. What can you expect from defenders is two anchors and three off-site. Possibly one on the other part of the second floor or the first floor. Basement is usually only used for the safe rotations and flanks. Vault wall is a very important wall to have reinforced, therefore you can expect defenders to bring Kaid or Bandit or Mute to stop you from hard breaching it. You, as a taker, have two approaches to the site, either from the statuary and astronomy requires more teamwork, or from the study and long hallway requires mira band and less teamwork. If they have mira, then vertical play from below is required and the vertical pressure is not recommended if solo queue. On either pushes, vault wall is recommended to be open, if there is nothing to stop you breaching the wall. You can use Hibana and open it from the night window. Also from the night you can open up this beautiful angle toward the games as well, which can be deadly against defenders. Do you remember when I said that pushing with the statuary in astronomy is more advanced? Well, if you are a solo queue player, I would advise you to go there, starting from bedroom as Jackal, Gridlock or Nomad, so you can put your things for the flank. Other than that, this map ain't for solo queue plays. You gotta communicate your way in and you must not act as a solo queue. So, how usually games and navigator attack is by having someone by the study, either window or the balcony, you will definitely have there some of your teammates. You can push from the main lobby, the main stairs. Be aware of this vertical angle and obviously drone around you or put the drone in the prep phase there so you know that this library in our studio is clear and you need one attacker by the night window. Possibly take Claymores or Noma to cover up the night T runouts. The person can act as a drone for you till you get the control of the main stairs. And how to do it is... There will be probably a defender on the top of the main stairs. You can push him together with the study's balcony guy. Make sure that the study was drawn out and no one is aggressively peeking you from the aviator to balcony. The balcony person can constantly have an angle on the door till you're ready to push the top main stairs guy out of the way. Remember, the knight can do all the drone hole, he isn't doing anything yet. Since you're pushing from the down there, you can be someone with a frag grenade, such as Dokebi, Buck or Sledge. Dokebi will be very powerful, mostly because once you call, you know that if someone is near you. That's an instant map control as a button push. Be aware if you call, not to nade him immediately or push. Wait a bit, he will expect you to push. You can also go with Capitol, Gridlock or Ying there. You are picking these operators because you easily, without having a line of sight on the top of the main stairs defender, you can get the control of it. If you cannot, simply push him from the two ways, study and the main stairs. Having main stairs control is required for this push. Now, when you did it, hopefully you will have termite and you will want to open the study wall. Have someone watching the hallway with the passive angle. Could be proning. Termite should be able to open the wall, either by placing it on the floor and then destroy the other wall, or just normally. Make sure to crouch before placing the charge, so impact checking does not destroy your thermite charge. Once you did it, we now need to take control of the night and destroy that wall as well as if you can. 
If you can, you have to make sure that no one plays by the 90, so anchors have to worry about the hallway push as well as the study push. And then comes your 90 person guy in. Ok, let's talk about the angles now. So I said to open a study wall, you should be questioning which one. That's up to you. If you want to open aviator one, you're forcing defenders to play in the vault and games. On the other hand, if you want to open games wall, defenders will be able to contest the games room from the aviator. If you have smokes, open up the aviator wall. You can see now the reason why opening vault wall would be neat. You are pretty much collapsing their whole hole if you have that in your control. Also, you will be planting in the games in this push, and the common plant spots are inside of the bar or the side of the bar towards the hallway. Additional walls that you can open a stairmite and he has two charge, this hallway wall allows you to play even more aggressive into the games and obviously vault wall. Hibana's already said it would be a nice pick. For the plan situation you will need one covering 90, when in the hallway watching games and at least a drone that will watch top of the main stairs if flank is coming from the study or main stairs. The other push is harder because then you play map as a section. You got the control of the astronomy trophy statuary bedroom and that area, and once you do it, you put a normal charge drawn by the astronomy stairs and move on, losing that map control. Let's attack statuary and trophy. You can expect defenders to play in the astronomy, a very important room to have control for both sides. You can also expect Benny Charles denying triple walls being open, and again, at least two roamers either on the other side of the map, on the second floor, or on the first floor. Also, C4 from below will be very frequent, so stay on the solid places as much as possible. As an attacker, you will want to open up the triple walls and have astronomy in your control. As solo queue, you could get yourself astronomy control with operators like Capitao by using the following two bolts. or Ying using very similar candelas and a bit of candelas mechanic and possibly gridlock. Frags will also be nice, but an ADS will pretty much stop you. The issue of attacking astronomy is that the astronomy window has no deep angle in the astronomy. However, it's recommended to have someone there, because the only way to retort between the sides is through the astronomy or through the hallways. Also, defenders can be on the several places in the astronomy and can constantly come from the stairs. So using fireballs, candelas or gridlock will help you. Also, expect a rotation between the astronomy and trophy, so you can always get contested from there. If your team has in the meantime opened the triple statuary walls, then your team will possibly have an angle onto the rotation. The reason why astronomy is so powerful is that from there you can deny all the anchor spots in the trophy, and by having the triple walls open the statuary, you deny all anchor spots in the statuary. So, as you can guess, objectives are as clear as sky and you can push your way in. The full statuary plan spot, if having astronomy control, is to the left wall, having someone watching the statuary doors over the hallway and someone watching trophy doors from the either astronomy or trophy. You will need a drone watching astronomy stairs and that's it. What you can do if in a primate team is have a person by this balcony, so once you have astronomy control, there is no way that defenders can go back to the site. Be aware of this drone hole angle, works both ways. In case you are struggling with the getting astronomy control, you need a smoke operator and then you maybe will be able to plant, with the help of the smoke as your open triple walls will block any attempt from the astronomy. However, trophy will still be an issue, but will be smoked off. Be aware of the echo and smoke then. When thinking about kitchen and dining, usually it is done very similarly as the trophy and statuary, because you will want to get vertical control of the astronomy, toilet and the bedroom, because you want to take care of the anchor position. So before everything, let's explore which holes you want to have opened. Starting off with the bedroom, south part of the triple wall, to get the Benny charged, and to have an angle onto this door that a C4 or smoke player can be. Open a bit more of the triple wall to get the person behind the bomb. Open the no walls so you can cover up planting. 
when your team is about to start planting, cook and throw a grenade so you can buy the time and possibly kill a person by this corner. Also make sure to open it here, so you're not exposed when trying to go towards the toilet and vaulting over. Spinking off the corner spot, the knight with this vertical angle. With a similar reason, put this vertical angle as close to the window as possible. For the astronomy, you have options, whether to be visible for the astronomy stairs or from the statuary, but this angle will eliminate the kitchen default place and will help your planter to secure their plant. It's extremely needed if you don't have small grenades. That'll be it for the vertical spots. So how to get the control of this? Well, with the same idea as the previous attack. Minus the chibi wall which is not required to be opened. It's really recommended to have no matter gridlock, mostly because you won't be entering statuary to put the tracks in the jab. You also need tracks or a by the trophy door and by the astronomy stairs. You can additionally put a claymore here, it won't reach whole hallway. Also, you can expect at least three roamers here as well, forgot to mention that. So now when we learned what to do on the second floor, let's see what should we do on the first floor. Well, opening this wall is not required if you have second floor people, at least two of them. Because you can deny pretty much every angle from above, and by opening this wall you are just letting your first floor players be more exposed from the memorial. Which is obviously the room that I'm shooting right now. Well, if you don't have vertical control, then I hope for you that you have small grenades and you will need to open the wall just to cover your planter from the memorial C4s and small grenades. Talked about planting, the four plant spots are here and smoke off this double door and these soft walls. And you can plant over here in case you don't have smokes. Still exposed on the soft walls but not from memorial because of the bridge and not from dining because of the solid cover. And that will be actually it. For a final objective, which you will be probably never attacking because it requires defenders to use a fine chunk of reinforcement down there where the majority of the round will again happen a bow which is again back to game is enlivening but this time you probably won't have issues with this four study walls even if it's reinforced free feel to open it with a termite you will need one more termite jar for the first floor part which will be get back later on if there are really heavily holding top floor which might happen in the pro league just push from the other side, but it won't happen in your ranked gameplay, unless you are playing against a coordinated 5 stack that are using ranked as a screams for the challenger league or pro league, but then you lose either way. But seriously, if they are holding heavily top floor, like even having someone on the top main stairs, push other side, which takes a bit more of a hard job, which is a bit more complex. To push out games and aviator, small grenades will be nice, as once you open the study wall facing games, smoke off the closed 90 hallway, so you have two ways to push in and you should get the games control momentarily, so once you get the game control, that is all what you need. You will need to open up two holes, one is to see the default anchor spot in the library and the other one is to cover up your plant. Speaking of plant, you will push your way in from the R studio, possibly let someone push from the main lobby. And the reason of you pushing our studio is that you want to clear out piano. Haha, <laughs> no. But once you get the piano control, you're denied the only other way to get denied from the plant. Well, before actually plant spot, you will want to destroy this wall as termite and final plant here. You have people calling you from above this angle. You have piano guy or the hallway guy calling the other angle. And you're Gucci. They will have to retake your vertical control. You can do all this without having someone on the top, however then you will have to have a player by the library door watching this angle, who will be more exposed and possibly pre-fired. Also you need to take care of the upside defender because there are several vertical angles that can be used against you. Thank you for watching with the video, if you have any feedback let me know down in the comment section below. If you would like to support me, drop me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications on my channel. Make sure to join my discord server and to follow me on twitter.